Everybody, it's Thomas Wynn Railway here, and I have another Thomas Wynn Railway discussion coming up. So, without further ado, this is a discussion on my old style scruffy. Now, even though the towel says it's an old style scruffy, um, this is technically a review for both of them because both of these are uh, they're rare. Scruffy is a rare item. Um, scruffy was first seen. He was actually, you know, a character in the railway series for the episode uh, Toad Stands By, my first remake that I ever did. That, as of right now is um, the most popular video. It's been viewed the, um, the most times. And um, so Scruffy was only seen in one episode in the, uh, in the TV series. However, I think his face was used in another episode. It's the one where Percy um, hits some cars down a mine and the mine collapses. Um, his face was used in that, but it wasn't Scruffy himself. And that was an episode where, for the U.S. people, Alec Baldwin narrated. So that was like 1998 to 2002, I believe. It's one of those episodes. So Scruffy, in general, I think is one of my favorite characters. I got my Scruffy from my first set when I was younger, a Day at the Work set. So this Scruffy has always been a part of my life. This one, obviously. And then this one I got a few years ago. Um, let's see, I got it before... Um, I ever started a series, so it was before 2008, I had it, and then I've just always had the old style Scruffy for a while. So, um, first off, I'll just show you guys the faces right here. Um, personally, I like old style Scruffy better, because he, uh, I don't know, it just, I think it looks more realistic. It's kind of like with the old style Reneas and the new style Reneas, you know, there's no question in my mind that this is a better Scruffy. I will give kudos to the new style Scruffy over here, however. Because um, his face is pretty darn accurate to the TV series. And I think that's what Learning Curve was aiming for when they re-released the Scruffy. Because the old style Scruffy was sold for a number of years. And then, of course, it was retired. And then in 2006, Learning Curve was like, hey, let's um, re-release Scruffy and make uh, millions of dollars off of it. And everybody's like, okay, because that means more money. And so this is the re-release version. Even though it was specifically re-released for a 2006... But, I mean, you know, I have one in the package that says 2010 on the package. So with Learning Curve, dates are unpredictable. Um, this Scruffy, one of the biggest flaws, I think, is the orange wheels. The orange wheels have nothing to do. It's kind of like Reneas with the gray wheels. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, and then, of course, with all these new items, you got the blast magnetic thing here that's, eh, I don't know. But anyway, let this review continue. So, my old style Scruffy obviously has a lot more wear on it than this one. Because I use this one in my series and I used it as a kid. Um, surprisingly, I think this Scruffy is just more accurate than that Scruffy. The only thing I like about this Scruffy is the face. And then again, I don't really like the face that much. So, I think this old style Scruffy is more accurate when it comes to that. Um, you know, obviously, this new style Scruffy has the orange wheels, which to me makes no sense. Why do you put orange wheels on a truck? The paint color is a little bit different, just a, a lighter tone of gray for the for the new style Scruffy. I'll hold them up like this. They kind of look the same, but this, the old style Scruffy, uh, definitely has a different color. And then their backs are just plain because they're trucks. Flip it around here, same exact thing. These trucks are symmetrical, and in fact, all engines are symmetrical. So they're going to have the same thing on each side. And flip it back here, show you guys the bottom of the Scruffy. This Scruffy does not have a name on the bottom. And looking at the wheels, let me find it, 1998. There you go, 1998. And then this one obviously says, obviously says 2003 on it because learning curve. I don't know why, but they just haven't put dates on the wheels, or accurate dates on the wheels, so to speak. So um, that's a review on the old style Scruffy and a review for the new style Scruffy because they're both interesting um, personally, I just don't see any flaws with this Scruffy. I think this Scruffy is pretty darn awesome. I would, um, if I were to recommend, um, old style Scruffy or new style Scruffy, I'd recommend old style Scruffy. Go for that, but you're gonna have to look on eBay or Amazon. Go to a flea market, you might find one there. Um, but, you know, old style Scruffy, I see him on eBay all the time, and, you know, I mean, he's not really a rare item. He's one of those items that's retired, but you can find him easily. So, that's a discussion on my old style Scruffy. Thanks for watching.